Oh, now I understand. Okay. I thought I thought it was like this, but it's actually like this. Okay, let me start over. Hello everyone and welcome back to the 4 Science Update and Kerbal Space Program 2 Early Access. I have discovered how this tech tree actually works. Uh, it isn't that these are the tiers, it's that there's, there's tiers like this. And there's like a really thin connector. That's what fooled me, I didn't really see a connector line here, right? Uh, you take a look here from power launches, it doesn't look like it continues. And I didn't realize that there was, this is two, and you have to go through that, I guess. And then this is three, this is the rest of it, and then this is four. Okay, so now we have a lot more science to do. <laughs> we can't complete the tech tree in, a blink of an eye, in the blink of an eye. I was going like, well, if it's just this, there doesn't seem like there's much to do, is there? It's not just that. So, okay, and these sciences cost a lot. 7,000 and such. So that's where the rest of the little science parts must be. Because I was wondering where the science parts were. Alright, okay. So, we're in a much better situation here. Uh, let us proceed with our missions and go on to the moon. So, mission control, moon or bust, track mission, alright. And going green is with the Science Junior, but I've had problems with the Science Junior, so we'll see about that. And EVA while in Kerbin orbit, we'll certainly do that. Uh, can we track more than one mission? It seems so. Okay, well let's just track everything then, why not? Okay, so back to the VAB, let's just go ahead and land on the moon, shall we? Like it's an easy thing. We've got a lander, but I don't feel like I want to use it. But then again, we don't have to bring our Kerbal back, right? <laughs> it, didn't, it didn't say anything about that, right? We just have to establish orbit around the moon. But nothing about bringing the Kerbal back. So we'll establish orbit, get the science, get the next contract which will tell us to land on the moon, and then proceed from there, I think. I think that's the plan. Alright. Let, let's say we're, we are going to bring the Kerbal back after we land. It would be the right thing to do. We could make into the old style. This kind of thing. That's a fair amount of Delta V. It's not overwhelming or anything. We did get landing legs, but that's an ex extra mass. Seems firm. Seems firm. Cut down our Delta V a little bit. Just in case, I'll slap a solar array too. Okay, and then we need a more robust rocket. Okay, so this was reading the thrust weight ratio of the Terrier in atmosphere. Yep. So, for some reason the engineer report isn't reliable as far as picking out the bottom stage anymore. You can't trust it to do that. I think that's a little bit too tight. Let's have three. Let's have four. I'm not. I'm not. Fe we're not. We don't have to pay for it. But we could do this. Let's. Let's just try this. It has to balance on those. We don't. I think have launch clamps. Science. That's all we've got for science there. I'm not carrying the science junior. We're just going for the moon. All right. So, let us launch. Oh, night time. Well, it's Tim C again. I didn't think to remove him. Okay. Well, it's already blinking the science thing. Kerbin landed. I guess so. Okay, on we go. It still rounds up. Will our boosters separate properly? I haven't put any separatrons or anything. Okay. As the sun sets behind us. 
Oh, booster step. Oh gosh, booster step and ignition. It was going a little bit crazy there. It's going a little bit crazy there. Hmm. Something was going horribly wrong. But we're safe now. In theory. Okay, we'll coast. Uh, let's see. The moon... Well, it's back there, so timing ain't great. We can't just go straight there. Let's get into orbit first. Okay, we are in orbit. Science is blinking again. But it's more zero science because I've already done it. Stop teasing me. Okay, so... Well, we'll just go when it pops up over the horizon. I don't even feel like making a maneuver. There it is. Yep. Okay. Can't use that. Go. Remember, the moon popping up over the horizon way of deciding when to burn is only for the moon. Okay, where are we at here? Yep. Uh, 50 is fine. Let's take 50. Alright, on we go. There's Kerbin. Well, we should have some high over Kerbin science to do. Right? Right. Okay, well, let's see. Make sure our little solar panel is facing the sun. Okay, 48 science points for that high orbit thing. But still, now we know that the tech tree is much, much larger. We'll be needing, needing much, much more science. Okay, well, we got some science here. Uh, well, fine, 32. Okay. And that's 40 science points, all right. 56. I don't understand. It says 44 and then it turns out to be 56. It's strange. There must be some multiplier somewhere. Okay. Okay, we have made orbit around the moon. Was it not a good enough orbit? I'll need to check the... Where's the contract stuff anyway? Hmm. Apparently they're not happy with mission control. What's the deal here? Periapsis greater than 60 kilometers. <laughs> I got closer than they were expecting. Fine, fine. There we go. Okay, so we want to go to mission control and complete that mission so that we can continue. It doesn't say launch a new mission, thankfully. It just says do the thing. So in theory, they're going to give us the land on the moon contract next. And I can... Yes, yeah, yeah I did. Gotcha. Continue. Okay, no, forget the reporters. I don't want to hear about it. Okay. No, enough. Okay, thank you. <laughs> One small step. Right, that's what I wanted to do. Track. But I guess we can do finish up this going green thing. It says, attach a science junior to the vessel and perform an herbal survey on Kerbin. I didn't do that. I didn't put a science junior. So I'm, we, I'm confused why it thinks I did that. I did attach a Science Junior on a previous mission, but not this one. So it's weird. Hmm. First dibs. Plant a flag in within any Mari on the moon. Oh, they call them Maris too, even though it's the moon and not Luna. Okay, fine. That establish an orbit around Kerbin with uh, AP and P each between 99 and 101 kilometers. Well, eventually. Uh, we should EVA while it- oh, it is in Kerbin orbit. Gosh darn it, missed that. I should have just popped uh, our Kerbal outside to do that. Anyway, but we, we can- uh, uh, we want to land on Amare, but hold on. Uh, it just says land on the surface otherwise, so... Okay, first dibs on the Amare. Okay, so tracking station, back to the mission. Roll. So, 
we have to find Amare. Uh, it seems like this is Amare. That's Amare. Anyway. Okay, so we'll land right here. Hopefully that counts. And we'll be more or less in a come straight down sort of situation. I hope it's not just lowlands. <laughs> I hate lowlands. Anyway. Okay. Well. Off that goes. Okay, off that goes. That's not on yet. Okay. I don't want to accidentally decouple anything. Alright. 2 minutes 25 seconds right now. But that's the total burn time, not the burn time for... I mean, because we're not using the whole stage. So, it's complicated. Okay, we have landed. We actually didn't put a ladder. Okay, but um, let's go ahead and uh, send some science. Wow, crew observations from the surface of the moon is only 19.2, it says here. It's a little bit sad. And then it gives me 24 research points. Okay, but do they have a good enough jetpack that we can... EVA Timsey out and get get Timsey back in. First of all, let's finish what Mission Control said for us to do. Um, so that submit and and there's chatter science snack department has finally left moon not edible. Okay, um, but we didn't get first dibs. Oh, plant a flag. Right, plant a flag. Okay, let's plant a flag. That one. Oh, what, what else was there, anyway? Mooner signal. Find the source of mysterious signal on the moon. Hmm, that's different. I was not expecting that. Uh, originating from a fixed point on the moon's surface. Okay. Spacewalking, that's EVA while in Kerbin orbit. Escaping... Well, we... Oh, well, that's the whole SOI, probably. Anyway, uh, we can track as many missions as we like, so... Probe core, antenna, and solar panel. Oh, so we finally have to do satellites there. Okay, but anyway, back to our Kerbal. Okay, so EVA. Please be able to get back in. Well, I mean, they don't require him to get back in. Now, of course, there's no money thing, so you actually get paid in science right now. On the flag. It's Amare. <laughs> uh, I can't. Uh, you can't do exclamation mark. At least, I hope it is. Okay, so we got that done. Run surface survey. Yep. Now well, that's what I was going for. Okay. Crew observation. Already in storage, it says. Okay, well, anyway. The surface samples must be returned to the KSC. That's fair enough. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Um, we will need a jetpack just to be able to get back um, safely. Oh, it has a little forward thrust. Hmm. Up, up. Even if uh, I just say up, it seems to have a okay, board. Board thrust. Okay, data can transmit that 120 units of charge, though. But 86.4 for the surface samples. That's the ticket. Okay. So, the surface signal is over here. Tempting to just hop on over there. Well, let's... let's try. Well, let's lift off first. Now, 
That's probably too fast for us to slow down and then get back to orbit again. Hmm. Killing 400 meters per second of surface velocity. Um. Maybe I'll send a different mission over. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna bring. I want to see about bringing Tim C back. Oh, but it's right there. But then again, he's got surface samples. All right, no, he's got surface samples. I want to bring back. We'll investigate the signal with something else. Whatever it is, it's a big thing. But uh, we'll check it out with a dedicated mission for that purpose. Okay, lopsided orbit, but probably okay. In fact, plenty of Delta V to get back home. Ah, the little bit of inclination is messing us up. Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll just fix that once we get to Carbon Space. All right, out, out, out. So yeah, for now it seems like the time warp stuff is going well. What I do want to do is EVA us once we're close to Kerbin. I, I guess this would count as in space around Kerbin anyway. Right. There we go. So, fine. That's still invalid, but okay. Alright, very good. Back to 26. Or that's probably a little bit low. I want to try 26 in particular. Okay, close enough. Okie dokie. Let's go back. We've got 549 signs there, but it looks like the techs cost quite a lot these days, so. Okay. Well, we'll see. Maybe this is too low. We'll find out. Off goes the... Whoop. Not do the parachute. Off goes the service module. Alright. Will our one solar panel mess us up completely? <laughs> Let's find out. It's got 0 0.2 tons of ablator. The new thermal effects. Very subtle charring of the heat shield. Oh, is it really heating up? No, oh, now no, it's darkening up. He's a little bit late for it to darken up. Not as charred as I was expecting, but a little bit charred. So as far as ablator usage, we used 0.02 this time. Actually coming down from low curve in orbit, I used 0.03, which is interesting. Okay, parachute is fully deployed. And that was our first moon adventure with For Science. Oh, uh, very steep place here. Oh. Well, at least we've got slide resistant pods. Mission control, let's see, uh, spacewalking, submit, continue. All right. Okay, yes, give me the science. First dibs, so we did plant the flag and we should submit that. Okay, gotcha, over and out. Over and out, 